Hey, my name is Jay with Kinetic and I want to show you something pretty cool today just for the Yamaha user groups that I've been working on a GPI controller. So this is a five button controller right here and I have the fifth button. The same circuit is a switch which lets this be momentary or latched and I'm going to show you why I think that's really cool. Um, first of all, I built this design into a five gallon drum lid and that's because of uh, when I'm prototyping, obviously I don't want to ruin any product, but this is a pretty good circuit that I'm pretty happy with and I want to show you this. So simply plugs into the GPI connector on the back, five momentary buttons and the switch on the fifth. And if you look, um, the console, the way I have the first two buttons set up is that I can bank change my user defined keys between bank A and bank B without actually eating up a user defined key to do that process. You can do things like tap tempo, which has been requested. Uh, I also did a dedicated home button on here. So we don't have to eat a user defined key button to be home. Now the fifth button, I wanted to be kind of really cool, kind of like, a, you know, I'm, I'm a nerd. So I wanted some special features on this guy that are very unique to this console, right? So if I press down this arcade button right here, if you look at the console, I'm using set nominal. So all of the lights will light up here and I can send everything to its nominal value. Now that's pretty common people do that. But what I like is with the switch here, I can flip that switch and now I don't have to hold down a button and I can really concentrate on my mixes, right? And then when I'm done using set nominal, flip the switch off and I'm back to where I wanted. So again, uh, this is just me kind of prototyping here. I'm really happy with the circuit and the way this turned out. There's a light in the fifth button and I want to build a switch to where the user can turn that light on and off if they want it or don't want it. But any input from you in the Yamaha community on what you would like to see for a cool GPI controller I have molds coming from China. They're just really cool. They're gonna fit underneath the lip here or they can mount on top of the console. I also have some foot switches in the works. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's something cool that you think we could do and I'll make it happen. Thanks for watching.